guys, it's Amy here and I am back with an exciting collaboration this week. So this is inspired by the telephone game, which is that game that you might have played as a child where one person would start with a phrase and whisper it into one person's ear and then it would go to the next person and the next person and the next person and then by the end you would say the phrase out loud and you'd see the differences. But we're using that same concept to create pieces of art. So this is a collaboration between myself, Pencil Butter, Lone S. Wolf, Smolt, Alexi, and Nautica Williams. And we are basically taking this concept into art. And it's something that's been done on Tumblr, which is where we initially got the idea. And it's been a really fun project. So I was fourth on the list and I went after Smolt. So Smolt did this beautiful watercolour piece and I had to take her drawing, which was an anime style, and translate it into my drawing in I work realism. So I knew it was going to be an interesting challenge. I would also like to point out at this time that when I did this, I was battling a raging fever and a massive tube infection. I was actually on several doses of antibiotics for this infection, and I suspect that this influenced a few of my decisions. So I did not see pencil butter or Lone's drawings. I only got Smolt's drawings, so I had no idea what the original looked like. And when I got Smolt's drawing, there's definitely a few differences. The first difference is probably the pose. Um, basically, I wanted to draw. I I don't like personally sitting how she drew the person sitting, so that's why I changed the pose. It just made me feel uncomfortable. Um, the one of the major differences is the cat ears. So when I first saw the drawing, I couldn't work out what the creature on the shoulder was. It's meant to be some sort of ermine fox creature but I couldn't work it out I couldn't tell if it was a cat or a fox or a weasel or a stoat or something like that and then I saw what I now know to be beaded gel sticks in here but when I first got it I didn't see the beaded gel sticks I just saw the shape of cat ears and I was like ah it's a cat on her shoulder it's cat ears in her hair it's cat so I went that route and after working on this picture for about 10 hours I looked at the original and I was like oh it's beaded jewel sticks and I actually own a collection of these jewel sticks I wear these jewel sticks in my hair so I know what these sticks are but I just didn't see it so yeah that kind of got me. <laughs> the other big difference as well is I didn't do the sleeve thingies that Smolt had done on her arms. That was purely just because I forgot about them. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I was rage battling a raging fever at this while well, doing this project, so I made some interesting decisions. The other decision I made was to use Prismacolor pencils, which they worked out all right. It was fun to use them again, but I definitely prefer my polychromos. <laughs> I love my favorite castells. I'm stuck with them. So this drawing ended up taking me about 20 hours all out, and a good 10 hours of that was on the wings. The wings took hours, and there's a reason why I don't draw wings in real life because, like, for those that are doing the cartoony style, they. <laughs> I don't want to say they had it easy because, you know, they still do beautiful wings and I was really impressed with how everyone's drawings turned out, but to do wings in realism, as soon as I got the image, I was just like, oh no, <laughs> that was the one thing I really hoped that wouldn't be done because Pizza Butter does a lot of wings and I suspected we could be getting wings and we got wings and it made me cry, <laughs> but I persevered through and they look beautiful in the end. I ended up looking at um, Victoria's Secret models, the angel models for their wings to get an idea of big sweeping wings and yeah I think it came together well in the end so yeah but yeah there's a reason why I don't really draw a lot of angel wings or fairy wings and stuff like that because wings are a pain <laughs> and they are half the video. <laughs> The other challenge I think I had with this was 
that animal on the shoulder. Um, so I initially drew it as a cat because, like I said, I saw the cat ears. I presumed it was a cat on the shoulder, so I just put it all tied together like that. But it just didn't want to work out as a cat. And I think at that point, like, I was right on the end of my fever. I was just over... I was honestly over this picture at that point. I just wanted to crawl up on the bed. So it kind of ended up going back to a stoat tight animal. Yeah, it's a bit weird. So it's just a creature. <laughs> yeah, the... It was fun though. It was a really fun challenge. And I loved this concept. And for me personally, because I work in such a different style to everyone else, it was such, it was so fun to take, you know, something completely out of my comfort zone and produce something like this. So I am really proud of the results. Um, and for me, like, one of the things I'd like to get into is I know there's a lot of people out there that have their OCs and the OCs are their babies. And I would love to translate some of those OCs into you know realism and to create real people of them um so for me I was using this sort of as a challenge to myself to see if I could do that and I feel like I did achieve the results so yeah and as you saw at the start there was that beautiful slide show put together by pencil batter who you know showed everyone's pieces and it was just so fun seeing like we did a big reveal on Skype and oh just seeing all the little changes and everyone interpreted things in their own way and it's just it's wonderful it's such a good project it did take us a long time though I think we started this in January and we've just gone into April uploading it so because all of us we each had about two weeks to do our part so yeah but I definitely want to do this again and I hope the rest of the group wants to do it as well I'm sure they will and you know maybe even get a few more artists on which would be really fun and I can't wait to see everyone's videos as well which I'll be linking in so yeah go check out everybody um if you don't follow them go follow them as well and oh yeah just a, such a fun challenge so I hope you guys like it too So we'll be coming up to the fan soon as well, which you'll notice I also have that a little bit differently because a the fan was a surprising challenge. <laughs> like I knew that the wings were going to be a challenge. I thought the animal would be a little bit of a challenge. I was not expecting the fan to be a challenge and it was just like, first of all, sketching it. I knew the basic shape but just trying to like create something and everything I was drawing was too plain like even the final fan still does not feel right to me it doesn't feel detailed enough to fit in with the picture but yeah it was just it was interesting um but I ended up having to put I put a few designs on it um it just felt too plain and too it was very stark because I changed the pose and made you know her looking over the fan it definitely changed it became the focal point and then just having it as this big yellow fan in the middle of this picture I was just like oh no we need to do something here so yeah that's where the design orientated from and originally I had sketched out like doing it maybe more of a bit of a lace fan but it just didn't seem to work. It was a surprising challenge, the fan. Like, just trying to find a way for it to work. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was, it was still fun, though. But, yeah, it, it could have been as well the fever. I could have just been overthinking that. <laughs> Basically, any decision I made that I screwed up, I was just like, eh, it's a fever. <laughs> I do not recommend drawing with a tooth infection. It's not fun. <laughs> Yeah, the only problem with my changing of the pose was, unfortunately, I lost a lot of the details on the dress, which, I mean, the dress completely changed by the end anyway, like, from Pencil Butter's original design of the dress to the end one was such a big change, but, yeah. 
So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, and yeah, like I said, go check out everyone else's videos. It was such a good challenge and oh, I just had so much fun. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this and yeah, make sure you go and check out everyone and I'll see you again next week. Bye guys.